Subhash Sridharan and Gauri Srinivas and Smriti Sridharan and Adamai. Um, Subhash Sridharan, uh, Srimadhi Subhash Sridharan has been learning the Veena from the age of 12. She had initially, she had initially learned from Sri U V K K V A Kumara Venkatacharya Swami of Kanchipuram and then from Professor G. Rangarajan of Sri Rangam. She is now under tutelage of Srimati Kalyani Ganesha, a renowned senior artist and retired professor from the Music College, University of Madras. Um, uh, Srimati Subhash Sridharan, an IT manager at NCDHHS, she performs um, at various local events and has taught several students in the area. Welcome, Srimati Subhash Sridharan. She is also the very uh, much of a uh, founder member of SIFA. Um, Gauri Srinivas. Gauri Srinivas is a Veena player and a Carnatic classical music enthusiast in the RTP area in the NC. She was initiated to the Veena by Sri M. V. Krishnamurti and later came under the tutelage of Vidwan D. Balakrishna in Bengaluru, India. Vidwan D. Balakrishna is the torchbearer of the glorious Mysore Pani of Veena playing and is the son of disciple Padma Bhushan Sangeeta Kalanidhi. Dr. V. Dharaswami Nayamar. Welcome, Gauri. <laughs> Shmiti Sridharan. Shmiti uh, started learning the Veena from her mother, Shubha, at the age of 12 and is currently under the tutelage of Srimadhi Kalyani Ganesan, a senior artist from India and follows the Manchapra Pani. She has won several prizes in the Cleveland Thakaraja Aradhana competitions and has performed in several venues in the United States and in India. She is a freshman at NC State University and plans to major in Biomedical Engineering while continuing her passion for music. Welcome to Nadamai Madhu on Pradangam. Nadamai Madhu is an 8th grader in the Carnage Middle School. He has been learning Pradangam from Midwan Sudhindra Rao and vocal from Vidushi Vrinda Acharya from a young age. He has performed many competitions in the Lari area. Nadimai enjoys martial arts and is a self-proclaimed professional swimmer and an avid reader. Welcome, Nadimai. Sangeetam.com, wiki and many more on the web. 
The song just we presented is an invocation on Lord Ganesha, Shakti Sahita Ganapatim, a notice for a composed by Sri Muthu Swami Dikshidhar in Raghav Shankarabharanam. Shankarabharanam. What is the meaning of Shankarabharanam? Shankara Abharanam. Shankara is Lord Shiva. Abharanam is his ornament. There are many ornaments that Lord Shiva has. But which ornament? It's actually referring to the snake that is on his neck. So the swaras in Shankaravaranam flows like a snake. That's why the ragam is called Shankaravaranam. Shankaravaranam is a universally enjoyed melody, whatever be the stream of music. Indian classical, film music or western music. It's one of the six Medakarta ragas that has perfectly symmetrical tetrachords. What's a tetrachord? In western music theory, a tetrachord is a series of four notes separated by three intervals. The other five ragas that has symmetrical tetrachords are Kanakangi, Hanumat Todi, Maya Manava Gaula, Karahara Priya and Chalanata. It's a raga with well distributed swara intervals. The nature of the raga is mellifluous and smooth. This raga offers a large scope for raga alapana and also compositions. Before we go deep into the discussion on Shankaravanam in Carnatic music, Let's enjoy some classical, um, Western classical and film music uh, clips here. In Western music, it's called C major scale, and in Hindustani, it's called Bilawal. The first one is a short clip from the famous Telugu movie Shankara Varanam, as the na name goes. Adho, could you place that, uh, play for us, please? A short clip. <laughs> It's an old Bollywood song. That's why it's called Dhira Shankarabharan. 
Shankaravarnam is described as a king among the ragas. In the 12th century, it was classified as Raganga Raga by Parshvadeva and it's one of the Purva Prasitta Raganga Ragas listed by Samangadeva. Parshvadeva and Sharangadeva are musicologists who lived in the 12th and 13th century and they have written several works in classical music. This raga was very much in practice in the ancient Tamil music system as a Sampurna scale known, known by the name Pan Param Panjuram. Now we will, we will play the scale as a plain scale and also with some gamakams how we uh, play in Carnatic music. So let's look at the Arohanam and Navaharam of Shankaravan. Sajjam Chadushra Dinashabam Antaragantaram Sutta Madhyamam Panchamam Sadhushru Dhaivatam Kakali Nishadam And the Avarohana So Gauri played the Avarohana Avarohana as plain scales which is very similar to the C major in Western music. Now Shankara Avarnam in Karnatic music as a Raga has its own Gamakas and Lakshanas. Gauri will now play the same Avarohana Avarohana with Gamakas. Shadam usually sounds more like an Anuswara in Shadja. 
if we observe the scalar arrangement of chakra varanam it has um, there is like alternate succession of plain and kambita swaras so gauri will show that now we look at the madhyama the madhyama can be oscillated in three ways it can be plain
This raga will gana raga will readily accommodate any kind of musical creation, be it classical, semi-classical, light, kalpita or manodharma. It would suit any emotion and any tempo. It could be vidambakala, madhyama, or duritakala. It's not surprising that there are innumerable compositions in this raga by all composers. First, let's look at the Notuswara of Muddhuswami Dikshitar. These are based on Shankaravaranam as plain notes, not including gamakams of the usual Shankaravaranam. They are all composed with Sanskrit lyrics in the Western C major scale. Each composition has swaras and lyrics to go with the swaras. Now, why did Muthuswami Dikshadar compose these songs? Baluswami Dikshadar, brother of Sri Muthuswami Dikshadar, decided to learn violin. He encountered the instrument being played by British bands in the colonial Madras. It's believed that Muthuswami Dikshita composed these lyrics to aid his brother master the playing notes on the violin. That's how these compositions came into place. These are very easy to learn for students and beginners and also work very well for group singing or orchestra. We will now present a notice of Muthuswami Dikshita on Goddess Meenakshi.
Thank you. 